Hi, and welcome to another Quick Touch Pro video. In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the new features with Quick, with Quick Touch Pro and how we can integrate with Keystroke a little bit. Uh, so to start off, we're looking at our standard 16x11 uh, Quick Touch Pro template with our Keystroke sales screen running behind it. Uh, and if you're familiar with Quick Touch 1 or Quick Touch Pro at all, you've probably seen this before. And everything we could do in Quick Touch 1, we can still do. Uh, we could send the stock number 5 uh, and then hit enter to ring up our golf tees, for example. Uh, just send keys to keystroke. Uh, we can also combine macros. We've got our pocket coolie key up here, which will send the stock number and then an enter to ring up our pocket coolie item. Uh, one of the new things we can do is we can now build our keys, uh, like our pocket coolie here, based dynamically off our keystroke inventory. So if we go to our lookup screen, for example, uh, what you see here is a, just a draggable pop-up window. And right now we're looking at our liquor items. Uh, and these all work. Uh, if we touch the 2008 Merlot button, for example, it will add that item to our uh, sales invoice and then close that template. Go back up under our lookup. And now because these keys are based off our keystroke inventory export, that means we didn't have to create each one of these keys uh, by hand. Uh, it also means that we can filter our inventory. For example, we're looking at liquor now, but we could easily look at software uh, or office or promotional items. And this is again still on the same pop-up template. Uh, we're just changing the filter of our list here uh, to display these other items. Uh, it also means that if you update your keystroke inventory, if you, you know, change descriptions or quantity on hand or prices or whatever you've done, uh, if you re-export your keystroke inventory, all of these keys will automatically be updated next time you refresh the template. Uh, so it makes it really easy to manage and display a lot of inventory items. And again, we can ring up an item, the Rumerang here, for example. Uh, so what else can we do? Uh, Quick Touch Pro can now also move and size keystroke. Uh, so for example, if we come down here and grab keystroke, and let's just move this up totally off the screen so we can't see it anymore. Uh, but we can still come down here, and if we touch any of our keys, for example, if we clear our transaction, uh, the first thing Quick Touch Pro does is it goes out and tries to open keystroke, uh, which it's already open, so nothing happens. And then it moves and sizes keystroke back to our uh, predetermined window size here. Uh, so you can always be sure that when you're hitting keys, uh, that you're always the keystroke is always open in the right size and in the right place and ready to accept the keys that you're sending it. Uh, so that's new. Uh, one of the other things we can do now is Quick Touch Pro can detect when keystroke clerks enter out. Uh, so if we hit our Change Clerk button, for example, uh, Quick Touch Pro detects that Keystroke clerked out and shows this special uh, clerk in screen. And notice that we have to clerk back in to make this go away. Uh, just hitting Enter, for example, doesn't successfully clerk in, so it doesn't do us any good. Uh, we actually have to clerk in. And same thing, doesn't matter how we clerk out. Uh, if your station times out, or if I hit F4 on my keyboard, for example, I just hit F4 there, Quick Touch Pro still notices that Keystroke has been clerked out and shows us our clerking screen. So we'll clerk back in again. Uh, we can also now tell when keystroke has been closed or opened. So for example, if we close keystroke, you'll see that Quick Touch Pro immediately shows a template here. Uh, keystroke's not running, use the button below to start it. And what's going to happen when we touch the orange button, that's going to go out and start keystroke. And again, as soon as Quick Touch Pro detects that keystroke's opened, it's going to hide this template. Uh, so we hit our button, and keystroke's open. And you can see now we, are, we restarted keystroke, so we have to clerk back in. Quick Touch Pro noticed that as well. So we'll clerk in. Uh, and we'll close our little pop-up template we were working on here. Uh, so we can tell again when it's uh, when we've clerked in or out or whether keystrokes open or closed. And that's all handy, but of course we can see our sales invoice. So we kind of know a lot of that information already. Uh, but it does give us the ability to customize our sales screen a little bit. Uh, for example, I've made this custom sales invoice for this video. And this is just a Quick Touch Pro template uh, designed to look like our standard keystroke sales invoice. So here's our sales invoice. Here's our Quick Touch Pro template to look like it. Uh, all these templates are completely working live from the data port. So this is register one, store one, clerk number's Andy. All that information's up to date, you know, cash, invoice number. Uh, if we add inventory items to this, we see them. Uh, we can add our pocket coolie, for example. Uh, we can still go up under lookup, promotional items, canvas bag. And you can see all our items will be added to our invoice. Uh, we can even go up and remove items. If we decide we don't want that pocket coolie, we can arrow up to it and choose remove item. It takes it off the list. Uh, we can also accept tendering if we came over, for example, for cash. Uh, we get a cash pop-up up, pop up, excuse me, that says uh, amount due is $7.58, which you can see down here. Uh, the amount tendered, they gave us $10.25, or, you know, it wasn't $0.25, cents, we just wanted the $10, uh, and we'll say OK. And as soon as we do that, we see that our change due is $2.42, give the customer their change, and hit OK, and we're back to another, uh, another sales invoice ready to ring up another sale. Uh, so, of course, if we're going to customize our sales invoice, we might want to get a little more creative than that. Uh, we created this template here for our uh, demo today, and this is just based off the movie Tron, obviously. And you can see that we've got uh, the background is a, you know, just a slideshow of images from the movie. All our buttons have this kind of Tron glow to them. Uh, just kind of give it a Tron theme. And again, everything works here. If we 5 enter, sends our golf tees, 
Uh, we can ring up a frisbee again in a pocket coolie. Uh, we can even go up and remove items still. Go up to our frisbee and where's our remove item button? Removes it from the list. Uh, clear our transaction. Uh, whatever it is we want to do. And again, uh, Quick Touch Pro still knows if we're clerked in or out, so we can make a custom clerking screen for this if we were to change clerks. Uh, Quick Touch Pro detects it, takes us to our access required screen, uh, where again, you know, we have to successfully clerk in to get back into our template here. And I think that's going to conclude our video for today. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thanks for watching.